Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video of Abhishek Steak. Today in this video we will be discussing India's falling GDP growth, what's next. You see, when this financial year 2020-2021 started during the budget speech, our finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman said that India is headed for a 10% nominal growth rate this year. But who would have known about the pandemic? And who would have known about the COVID-19 situation, the lockdown and the economic crisis that was there to follow. And today, the Fitch Solutions has given a verdict that India's GDP growth may in fact slow down to 1.6%. Let's look into what is going to be the future economic scenario of India. What holds for the Asia region as it is? How is it going to reflect upon our sovereign debt? What kind of an economic situation we are all getting into? Is there any kind of a solution possible? What can be focused on right now in our daily uh, life with respect to our economic work? So let's look into the video and let's uh, uh, try and understand the economic situation that is going on right now. The presentation that I'm using is as usual uh, downloadable from the description that is there in the video uh, attached to the YouTube and in case you want to look for any other areas of uh, economy, social issues, political issues or developmental issues, you can write in to me at my email id abhishek at abhmanyu.com and I can take it up for the discussion within these Abhishek stake videos. Now moving on to the what happened today as it is why this video came into being. So Fit Solutions today 20th April cut down the India's economic growth forecast for the financial year 2021 to 1.8% down from 4.6% saying that private consumption is likely to contract due to large scale loss of income in the face of worsening domestic outbreak of COVID-19. You know, you know 1.8% was never the growth rate of Indian economy. Even if you look at the first five year plan or the first 1947 to 48 itself, uh, you know, the financial year never we have been that low in terms of our growth rate in today's time with such an economic aspiration such a materialistic life that we lead today if such a situation happens how are we going to deal with it okay moving on now what is this fit solutions you know in upsc and the competitive examination they are more concerned about the institutions that present these data rather than the data themselves therefore we should know a little bit about Fitch Solutions as well. So Fitch Ratings Incorporation is an American credit rating agency and it is a part and parcel of the big three credit rating agencies in the world. The other two being Moody's and Standards & Poor. All these three combinedly take over 95% of the rating credit rating business throughout the world. It is one of the three nationally recognized statistical rating organizations designated by the US Security and Exchange Commission in 1975. Now, Fit Solutions particularly uh, had uh, you know, been launched in 2008. Prior to that, Moody's and Fitch was a combined entity. Now, the Fit Solution offers a range of fixed income products and other kind of credit rating services, financial data, analytical tools, etc. Now, moving on, why such a rating and why such a downgrade has been given for India's growth scenario by the Fit Solutions? Now, according to Fit Solutions, the industry right now is slashing expenses, which is visible from the purchasing managers index due to uncertainties with respect to the economic scenario going on in the country right now and the world as it is. Concerns about the economy will uh, increase due to the government not showing any speed in the relief package. The fiscal stimulus is yet awaited. The only kind of relief that the government is able to address right now is with respect to the social and with respect to the health parameters specifically not in terms of economic because that as the prime minister has time and again said can wait for a while while we are dealing with the pandemic okay now what's the status of the asian region now asia's economic growth rate may be zero this year due to the covid 19 situation if this happens it would be the worst performance in the last 60 years the imf has expressed this uh, apprehension last week and it was also said that Asia is still in a better position other than uh, in terms of economic activity as compared to the developed world where it's actually going to go into a negative territory in terms of the growth rate. Okay, and what's the expectation ahead? What can be done? 
Now, even before COVID-19 struck the world, the global economic output was on a decline. Even in India, we were witnessing a slowdown in the economy. And contrary to real indicators, the financial market, especially the equity asset class, was defying the reality and was making a new lifetime highs. We were looking at the BSC and NSE going through the roof. Now, what is happening after the pandemic? So as the pandemic broke this illusion of the financial markets also, they also crashed and there was a severe depreciation of uh, local currencies against the dollar and thereby enhancing the cost of servicing the dollar denominated debt. So this is where India is getting into a bleak picture. We are creating a debt situation, a sovereign debt situation, which in future will be tough to sustain, especially for India, where the FDI and other kinds of uh, foreign incomes and investments are already shrinking because of the go uh, you know global world order or the economic crisis that is going on. Now, are the debt crises brewing in emerging market? This is the question. Now, according to the recent report by UN Conference on Trade and Development, developing countries piled up a debt which is expected to be 193% of their GDP by the end of the financial year 2018. India's figure over here is again alarming. We are in no, nowhere back. Our you know sovereign debt is of the order 80% and above. Now, it expects it is expected that there is around 1.62 trillion of sovereign debt which will be maturing in 2020 and 1.08 trillion of uh, sovereign debt that will be maturing by 2021. This is for the Asian economics. Now, or India also, this is the similar situation. Although a little bit of relief for India is this, that out of the total sovereign debt, only 20% of our debt has been external. So therefore, even if the world economy is crashing, at least our exposure there is limited. Now, moreover, according to the UNCTAD estimates, due to the COVID-19, these developing countries are expected to lose export revenues of around $800 billion, and India is nowhere far behind. Here also, we are going to lose a lot of money. With the current lockdown and the loss of income for individuals, discretionary consumption, such as going to the gym, spending upon many other you know restaurants and other kind of fun activities that you used to do is likely to hit the wall for a couple of quarters more because you have to cut down on your expenditure in these areas now what is the way forward like i said while presenting the budget for 2020 2021 finance minister nirmala sitaraman said that nominal gdp growth rate for 2020 2021 is estimated at 10 percent who would have known at that point of time about the covid 19 pandemic Hence, projections in an economy remain what they are, mere projections. Their realization is dependent upon variables beyond human cognizance at any given point. Hence, live in the moment, give your best today within the given circumstances, make karma your friend and be blissful always in their fulfillment. All the best to you for your preparation and in case you are wanting to have any of your topics, that we should be discussing in Abhishek's take, send them to me in the email abhishek at abhmanyu.com. You can follow me on my channel in Telegram. Search for IAS underscore PCS underscore HCS. If you're looking for broad GS guidance and comprehensive package, then you can visit the links given in the YouTube description below for individual subjects. Abhmanyu's right now is providing a special package for COVID-19 for all those students who want to be doing online GS preparation for all their UPSC requirements. So do check that out on our website, almanuayas.com. Thank you so much. This is me, Abhishek Sharma, signing off.